Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic. We've got uh, Heather Martin in the news today in the off-season of The Bachelor franchise. We're seven weeks away from Katie Thurston's June 1st, 2021 premiere date for The Bachelorette, and we're still clearing up some drama from this past season of The Bachelor. Now, Heather Martin is about 50th on the list of uh, dramatic things that happened on season 25 of The Bachelor, starring Matt James, but uh, it is interesting to get her point of view on what went down. So, uh, to rewind, this article is from February 10th, and then I'll post, and then we'll talk about the article that dropped today about Heather Martin sharing her side of the story. Chris Harrison says Bachelor producers said no to Heather Martin returning, but she kept fighting. And I think everybody, including myself, uh, thought this was suspect. We thought The Bachelor and Chris Harrison set up Heather Martin to show up a few weeks in just to get sent on home. And they said, no, 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 no. She showed up at our doorstep. So we'll talk about that. And then I'm going to get into uh, Bachelor star Heather Martin details conversation with producers before crashing Matt James season. So according to Heather Martin, she says, no, no, no. They were right. This was totally on me. So we'll hear what she has to say. Uh, it was very interesting because the way it worked out, as we know, Heather Martin shows up in a minivan and Chris Harrison's the worst actor of all time. He'll tell you that. And he's like, Heather, what is it that you're doing here at Nima Colon Resorts in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? You know, like he's very, it was very strange and felt very staged. But here we find out maybe Chris Harrison just is that type of guy. Maybe that's just his personality. You know, he shows up kind of already in the uh, sports jacket and sweater turtleneck and he's like ready to go. I mean, maybe that's just this guy. So um, this is what Chris Harrison had to say in a new interview. Chris Harrison confirmed speculation that Hannah Brown was secretly behind the latest twist as the former bachelorette is friends with both Heather and Matt. To be honest, I found out later because the production didn't tell me she was coming that Heather had reached out to producers and Hannah B uh, was involved in all this too. She had concocted this story and was helping produce this thing from the side. She thought Heather would be a good match for Matt, but when they reached out, we said no. So Hannah Brown is to blame for this disaster. Boy, Heather Martin should definitely uh, Venmo request a couple bucks for her character that was destroyed after this season. She didn't look too good. She shows up in a minivan. She leaves uh, as an Uber pool driver, right? So the California native who previously competed on Colton Underwood's season in 2019 kept fighting for this, says Chris. She said, I want to come out there. One of our executive producers says, Heather, do not come to Nima Colon. You're not going to be on the show. Heather pulls up in a minivan. We told her, do not show up on our doorstep. She did. I get a call. I walked out of the gate. Heather's there. I believe it. Yes, uh, Chris says, we discussed this as producers. We said, you know what? Fine. You want to come in? You want to do this? We'll give you a shot. And she came in and talked to Matt, and then Matt had a very interesting dilemma, and that's what you're going to see play out. And, of course, as we saw, Matt just, uh, she walked in in those little rota rotation mall-like mall, mall -like, uh, doors, and then she walked right on out. And the girls were super mean to her, and it was a whole thing. Um, Hannah, for her part, said via her Instagram stories on Monday, Lord bless the girls that are mean to my Heather. That's all I have to say. That's all I'm going to say. Lord bless those mean girls. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Heather Heather shares her side of the story. People are very defensive over Heather. because I mean, she's an adult human being making her own choices. She decided to go on the show several weeks into it. I'm not saying she deserves the bullying and the cattiness from the girls. No, the girls should have let the uh, decision speak for itself. They should have said, you know what? Have Adam. We've had three weeks to meet him. Go meet him and we'll see what he likes. But instead, it was kind of like drama and we're not surprised. So everyone, the main question people have asked is if Hannah Brown is such good friends with Matt James and if Hannah Brown is besties with Heather Martin, then why didn't this you, you know, this thing happened sooner. Why didn't this happen off camera? And then other people have suspected Hannah Martin. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> just to combine them all at once. Other people have uh, suspected uh, Heather Martin as just going on the show because she was about to launch her uh, merchandise line. And look, two things can happen at once. You can be searching for love on a TV show and you can also sell t-shirts. Those can happen at once. I'm not blaming her for that. So let's read this article. It's from two hours ago on Us Magazine. You know me, Us Magazine. Uh, Bachelor star Heather Martin details conversation with producers before crashing Matt James season. It really was her idea. Heather Martin, who crashed season 25 of The Bachelor midway through filming, had a big hand in the planning of her surprise appearance. Um, on Tuesday, uh, April 6th, uh, uh, Heather talked to fellow Bachelor alums Ben Higgins and Ashley I about how she ended up joining the other women at Nima Colon after Matt James' search for a fiancé had already started. 
Marin said she has never met James because we all thought, oh, they must have met before. Maybe they had already hooked up. We all thought that she said they had never met in person before going on the show, but had spoken to him on FaceTime while hanging out with mutual friends in season 15 Bachelorette Hannah Brown. By the time she was ready to arrange a meeting, the former NFL player had already begun filming this season. At that point, Martin contacted the show's producers to find out if anything could happen. I was absolutely terrified, she said. I knew it wasn't going to be open arms welcoming me in. Though producers advised her on when to arrive, Martin said that she booked her own red-eye flight to Pittsburgh and rented the infamous minivan that she drove to the resort. I mean, you can't make this up. This is oh, this is nearly as funny as when the Trump campaign did the Four Seasons. Um, uh, do you guys remember this? Let's let, let me just Google this for Trump campaign Four Seasons because this was as I know I just spelled it wrong. Don't you love how you can just spell something wrong and get exactly what you want? So instead of booking the Four Seasons uh, you know hotel, they accidentally booked the Four Seasons total landscaping and had to have a press conference in front of a uh, leaf blower shop. I mean, there's nothing funnier than that. But that that what takes the cake. Is, is almost as funny as the minivan that, that Martin rented. She goes, she goes to Enterprise. This is how it always goes. They go, well, look, because Enterprise, look, car rental places are the worst places you'll ever go. They're like, you want the easy pass? You're going to need it for the toll. And if you're like, no, I'll just pay with cash. They're like, well, that's going to be a $15 charge for every toll you go to. And you're like, well, wait a second. Maybe I'll get that. They're like, that's $99. And then you're like, well, am I going to go through six tolls? And next thing you know, you're on ways being like all the tollless roads. And next thing you know, you're, you know, an Amish country in Pennsylvania churning butter because you don't even want to pay for a toll. Did it myself last year. Did the same exact story. So then Enterprise is going to go, oh yeah, you know what? I know you wanted the little um, Chevy Malibu compact vehicle, good on gas, but we're going to upgrade you to one of our mid-sized vehicles. And she's like, a mid-sized vehicle? I would love a mid-sized vehicle. So what does she get? A Dodge Caravan. They give her a Dodge Caravan. She's like, you said a mid-sized vehicle, not a mom mobile. I'm trying to get the fantasy suite, not nursing school. You know what I mean? So anyway, folks, that's what happens. And she was like, all right, no big deal. Just give me the keys. She's on a red eye. She's ready to go. She's ready to meet her man. And she's got, uh, you know, big diva energy. She's ready to walk on in there. And then all of a sudden she's driving a four cylinder, uh, you know, uh, Dodge Caravan. And she's got three kids in the back. They're like, who's the kids? They're like it came with the van. We don't know. Take the kids, give them a juice box, Capri Sun, drive them through a drive through a McDonald's, see if the uh, frosty machine's working and have a day. So that's what they do. She arrives on her own um, uh, in the white minivan. Uh, looking like she, uh, you know, is doing airport runs. I assumed the minivan was set up from the production assistant because normally they've got minivans and different, like, you know, vehicles that are just there to move waters and gear or whatever needs to be in Production vehicles, they're called, right? So I was like, oh, it's a PA, gave it to its all stage. Turns out, no, it's actually funnier. It, it, the story's funnier than what I could have believed. You know, too often we give these shows credit. It's almost like this. It's almost like this. When there's a conspiracy that the government's hiding secret, blah, 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 from, you know, whenever like a conspiracy involves multiple people, it's like the government can't even build a bridge. And you're trying to tell me there's a whole underground city with aliens? Like, look, I love a good conspiracy too, but you know, it only takes one person at a night of drinking to go on Instagram live and be like, Area 51's true. Woo. You know what I mean? So like, maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. But conspiracies in the government, it's like they're, maybe they're just a bunch of idiots running the show. And on Bachelor, you know, maybe it's just a bunch of idiots running the show. You know what I mean? So uh, as much as I like to think that they had this big setup with Heather Martin, it's like, no, no, no. She did it on her own. The story's just funny. You know, truth is funnier than fiction sometimes. So Ben Higgins and Ashley I also asked Martin if she thought she had been intentionally edited out of the Women Tell All special. She was visible on set in photos from the episode, but host Chris Harrison did not introduce her and she did not speak during the show. Let me answer that for you. Yeah, it was 100% intentionally edited out. Like that, there's no way. She said, I don't know what I'm allowed to say these days. She responded after a brief hesitation. You can just say that. You can just end that there. We'll make our assumptions. Yeah, so she's not allowed to talk about it. Of course she was edited out of the show. Of course. Why? Who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe it was something as simple as it was like, look, we don't, you know, the show's so edited so tightly. They're like deciding, do we want to cut this? Do we want to cut that? And she's like, they were like, look, we don't have enough time to introduce her. We don't have enough time to go into her storyline. So just cut her out of the whole thing. Of course. Why she even decided to go to the woman tell all, that's on her. She showed up to the lion's den she got bit. That's on her. 
Um, asked if she'd ever joined Bachelor in Paradise. Heather told the co-host she doesn't think so. That's what they always say. Oh, I don't think so. And then two months later, they're like, Aloha, mi amigos. You know what I mean? She goes, I don't think that's the show for me for multiple different reasons. She said, adding that she doesn't think she'll change her mind as other Bachelor in Paradise naysayers have done. As for her relationship with James, the California native confirmed that she is not dating him and has not seen him since filming the show. I think he has a lot going on in his life, said Martin, who first appeared in Colton Underwood's Bachelor season. He's going through a ton I can't even imagine. By the way, I'm... Think of all the drama that spawned from Colton Underwood's season. You've got Hannah Brown, everything that comes from Hannah Brown. So, like, as far as, like, the lineage of drama, everything that comes from Matt James' season comes from Hannah Brown, which comes from Colton Underwood. Like, he re- like you know, if, like, uh, they're always like, you know, if you could go back in time, would you kill baby Hitler? It's like, if you could go back in time, could you not cast Colton Underwood as a bachelor? Could we do that for a while? <laughs> oh, boy. I digress. Um, so is that the end of the article? That's it, folks. So there it is. You got it. You got the info. That's all you needed to know. And look, I got raked over the coals here. Is that a term? Raked over the coals. I got raked over the coals here when I said, I think that, um, Matt James, uh, that Heather Martin might not be his type. And people go, what do you mean? She's great. It's like, look, I'm not saying anything against her. I'm just saying the guy just got out. You know, he's one of the most popular, iconic people from the Bachelor franchise. Uh, I mean, he's the, he's the last lead. It's always, that's always the most popular person. It's whoever was the last lead. That's the most popular person. Not to mention First Black Bachelor. And, of course, un- unfortunately, all of the issues that were surrounding him, which were completely out of his control, that they put the weight of the world on his shoulders. And it wasn't about love so much as about um, you know him representing years worth of um, diversity that the show had neglected. They're like, all right, we'll just fix it now. And he's like... I don't know if I can do that. I'm just trying to, I've never loved somebody and you want, that's like giving a toddler keys to the Lamborghini. It's like, start with the tricycle, bro. Work your way into it. Know how to take the turns. So anyway, it was um, a dumpster fire of a season, but it was a dumpster fire of a year. Heather Martin delivered in her four door caravan. And now we got the truth. You want the truth? You can't handle the you truth. You can't handle it, folks. The truth is always funnier than the fiction. And that's the episode there. Let me know if you guys want to check out my vlog. I've got a new vlog every Thursday coming out. My new vlog channel. Just go search Dave Neal Vlogs. There'll be a link in the description. Leave a comment. Let me let me know what you think about Heather Martin. Should she be on Bachelor in Paradise or not? We'll see you later. Bye, guys.